Welcome to this side of the news. No fewer than 4,000 Anglophone refugees from Cameroon camped in various local government areas of Taraba State are currently suffering due to a lack of basic needs like food, drugs and shelter. They lament that their country is not yet safe for them to return and are appealing to the Nigerian government, international donors and other good-spirited individuals to come to their aid. Correspondent Wola Biadinusi, who visited some of the refugee camps, compiled this report. There has been a steady influx of Cameroonian refugees into Nigeria lately. This is unexpected given the unremitting crisis in the country. Taraba is a Nigerian state bordering the Cameroon Republic. It has continued to play host to refugees from the Central African country. Today, there are no fewer than 4,000 of them in Taraba. The refugees, children and nursing mothers are starving and crying for assistance. But life has not been easy here with us especially concerning food, uh, health situation, and then uh, even to go to the toilet is a problem here. You know, we, many children have contracted these uh, uh, waterborne diseases, and then even uh, uh, they, they have also suffered from uh, going to the toilet, malaria and so forth. So, in fact, since we came here, we want to appreciate the, also the effort of uh, the, the, the chairman of Kumi local government, they brought some assistance to us here. We received a Mobi, but you know, as Oliver Twee says, that is not enough. So we still need humanitarian gesture from the World Health Organization, from uh, UNICEF and other uh, 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 non-governmental organization to assist us because in fact we are really suffering. Even food, if we suffer before eating. No way for enter village again to find something. We are suffer with children. So, at least, sometimes government will have nowhere to go back for us again. We just live in, no, even for sleep safe, don't, we just manage so to sleep. Yes, what we want the government of Nigeria or the world to help us is to give us feeding and accommodation and let our children also partake in our education here in Nigeria so that we can know that we are the part of the Africa. Some share their ordeals with TVC News and explain how they escaped from their ancestral homes during a midnight attack by the military. Here now, we don't have food, no place to sleep. We are facing difficulties, many things. We don't know where to, what to do and where to go. To go back to Cameroon, no way. To go down inside Nigeria, no way. We don't have money. I'm here because of we just run, we run war. Yeah, fight. It's happening on the way because the thunder were running. The, my stomach started pain. I just give bed, uh, bed for, the, for, the, for the children away. The crisis occurred. I have to run away with my baby and the mother run in different way. I don't know where the mother is up to death. And people are seeing as I'm managing with the baby around where we escaped to live closer to our area. My brothers from the wrong go back, they are in the bush right now. No food, no nothing. We are just our prayer that we came to Nigeria to help us to look into this solution of this. Our president, Ambazonia, we need help from Nigeria. That's why we are here. The council chairman in one of the host local governments, Hassan Kamar, in an interview with TVC News, said the state and local governments could no longer meet the overwhelming needs of the refugees. According to him, many fruitless efforts were made by the council for assistance from the Red Cross for the refugees. When these people came, the first people that came here was uh, Nigerian Red Cross Society. They came and took their statistics and they promised they were coming back. As soon as we relayed the information to the executive governor of the state, he did not exit He ordered SEMA, that is State Emergency uh, Management Agency, to send in food relief material to supplement their hardship. Then he ordered the commissioner for health with immediate effect to send in drugs, which equally the drugs came and personally distributed the drugs to the camps. Some community leaders also appealed to relevant authorities to come to the aid of the refugees, particularly the children and nursing mothers among them. Our appeal to the authority, that is the state, the local government and the state, 
is that they should assist by bringing some uh, materials, uh, beneficial materials, for us to give uh, the August visitors here to uh, have their life free as we, uh, the we in the village has been assisting the August visitors. Meanwhile, the Taraba State Police Command has assured Nigerians living in the border local governments of their safety. The police commissioner in the state, David Akirele, said mechanisms have been put in place to prevent militia men from Cameroon from sneaking into the country. We are doing our best to ensure that their movement is restricted. Uh, they are uh, African neighbors. The, not the human rights, I mean, the, uh, what do you call them, refugee, is commission is taking care of that uh, to ensure that they are restricted to certain location so that it will not constitute a security threat to us. The prayers of the Anglophone refugees in Nigeria is to be able to pick up the pieces of their lives again, having lost all that they had to the crisis that engulfed their ancestral homes. Really critical times for refugees there.